everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm planning in my passion planner for the last week in January so we're gonna go ahead and open this up okay this week I'm doing something different I'm using a sticker kit that I put together I'm saying I put together not that I made it because I did not draw these however I found images that I liked clearly of the Golden Girls the best television show ever um, and I used, I put them into the Cricut size boxes, um, and use my Cricut to cut them out. So I'm going to use these this week. It's my first time ever using stickers that I made in my planner. I will say I am not loving the paper, um, the quality of the paper necessarily that I bought, but, um, it was my first ever sticker paper purchase and I just picked what looked to be a good deal on Amazon. I picked a matte sticker, which is usually fine, um, but I think that, I don't know. I don't know if it's the printer quality or the paper qual uh, quality, but I think it would just look a little better if this was on glossy or maybe just a better quality matte sticker. So we'll see how it looks once it's all laid out in the spread. But I also chose the pink glitter washi as the background, uh, the top header washi that I like to use because I thought it kind of went nicely with the pink in the background of the days of the week headers. So I'm going to start by putting that washi across the top. I'm not sure if I want to use the pink at the bottom or if I want to pull in a green. I might pull in the green for something different because I don't know that I've used the green washi before but I think it might be cute to have it um, I think we're gonna do that all right <clears throat> so I figured out last time I just need to make sure I have enough for one page and then once I cut it in half it's enough for the other because the first time I did this I did <laughs> for each side and then you cut it in half and it was way too much all right so I like using the wax paper for this because since it's clear I think I explained in another video that this trimmer leaves like yucky edges unless you have something underneath what you're cutting like a second sheet of paper but the wax paper is nicer for this because since it's clear I can better make sure that this is lined up straight and it still protects it from having that um, rough edge that this trimmer likes to leave. Okay, now that we have the glitter washy down where we want it, the next thing I'm going to do is put my day of the week headers across the top. And I chose the banana leaf print for the background of these, which I like a lot. And it looks like I made them way too short. Pretty sure I did. Which is a shame because I did measure them. Um, okay, first, this is bugging me. I need to just pull this up a tiny bit. Okay, that is better. So um, here's what happened with 
at least what I think happened with these day of the week headers and why they're the wrong size. So I did all of these in um, a PowerPoint document when I sized the boxes. And the reason I did that is because PowerPoint is really, um, really good at letting you um, resize things and uh, making sure that they're all like the same size and all aligned really nicely. And then I saved them as pictures and uploaded them into Cricut Design Space. And when I uploaded them to Cricut Design Space, it had them like the size dimensions were listed as being different than what they were in PowerPoint. So I resized them and they actually were bigger than what they listed in PowerPoint. Like, so for example, if um, the the height of these was like, or I'm sorry, if the width was like 1.38 in PowerPoint, when I uploaded it into Cricut, it would say 1.44. So I resized everything to be the size that it showed in PowerPoint, thinking that when it uploaded into Cricut, it did something and, you know, I don't want them to be too big. So when I resized them, once it was in design space, I think that it made them too small. So I think for next time, the lesson I learned is that uh, you need to leave it alone when it uploads to design space. Um, because clearly now they're too short. So that's weird, but it's all right. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be the best ever, but I think it will still look good, even though these are not exact. I wonder why it does that though. Does anyone, like if anyone makes stuff in Cricut, does yours resize things to be different sizes than what it's showed in a different program. So I find that very odd. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is pick a Chelsea Ground Designs um, cover sticker for my This Week's Focus and Good Things That Happen box. I like this pink. Let's see what my other options are. I just have a plain black I could use. Uh, well, there's a black one here too, so. Let me see what else I have. And I have some brights. I have bright green and I have bright pink. I don't want to use the bright pink because that's my last one. I think we're going to go with that pretty... Actually, no, we're going to go with plain black. The reason being because all of these like themed color palettes, I have lots of stickers from Chelsea Brown Designs in those color palettes and I don't want to like... I don't know. When I go to use some of those other stickers, I don't want to not have a matching. Oh my gosh, I put that on so crooked. I don't want to have a not have a matching um, cover for this. So I'm thinking, since all of these had to be resized, they're all going to be the wrong. Every one of them. Like that's not going to cover my whole timeline. Nope. Um. Darn. Well. Maybe I'll just use it anyways and see what happens. See what it looks like. What I could do is, and what I might do, is take another row of washi to, or like either at the bottom or across the top so that the timeline appears shorter. That's an option. Let's see how much space we have. They're like just wide enough to. So it's actually not so bad. It only leaves off the 1030 at the bottom. Oh boy. It's going to drive me nuts, but I think I'm just going to let it go. What I could have done if I had known is I could have just left this green its regular size and gone across that way. Huh. Let's see what it looks like if I line it up with the bottom instead. Maybe it will bother me less if that space is at the top. I 
I think it bothers me less at the top because I could always write bigger in that focus box. Yeah, so we're gonna line these up to the bottom. I'm surprised at how close it came though to actually fitting correctly. I thought, like based on how off these are, I thought that the timeline covers would be really bad too, but they're not too bad. And these actually came out wide enough. I mean, like just barely, like if they were like the teeniest, like hundredth of a millimeter narrower, it wouldn't cover the timeline, but it does. So that's surprising to me. Okay, next. I'm gonna take this deco sticker and stick it right here in the corner. And I have just the tiniest, tiniest bit of that sticking out. So we'll just do a little light out and put the girls right there. Oh, it's so cute. I do like this kit a lot, even though like it's not super professional looking. Um, I'm gonna put to do right here as a header on this side. Next, I'm gonna put down some of, I think I wanna put down some of the deco stickers that I have, like the ones that are of the characters. So I have four. So it would probably look best to kind of stagger them. So, you know, Dorothy's a little grumpy to start a Monday morning with. So we're gonna put Rose, <laughs> we're gonna put Rose on Monday morning at the top. Who is your favorite, well, first of all, I should ask, do you like Golden Girls? I hope you do. If you've never watched it, you need to watch. It is an amazing show. If you do watch Golden Girls, who's your favorite? I think my favorite is probably, it's a really hard pick, but I think I'm gonna say my favorite is Blanche. Um, I don't know, they're all so funny, but I think I'm gonna go with Blanche. All right, so we've got an every other day kind of thing going on with those. And then I have, so I have these appointment stickers and I do have some appointments, but I covered the timeline. So um, I guess I could still use them though and just write in what the appointment is. So I know for sure I have an appointment on Friday after work. So we'll put this one right here. Yep, and you can see these also, I had to, according to Cricut, I had to resize them smaller, and so they're a little bit too narrow and just a tiny bit too short up and down ways. Um, but yeah, so I'll just fill in in pen below there, and then here's the thing. I don't feel like these yellow go very well, and I kind of thought that when I made it too, but um, you know what? I'm just going to use them anyways. It is what it is. So I have this to-do box that I'm gonna put on Monday. And then on Thursday, since there's like nothing on there yet, I'm gonna put this one up here just as like, um, it's like decorative and functional at the same time, which I like. I'm trying to put it on straight. Oh, they're so sticky. I can't even get the spatula out. There we go. Um, oh no. And then we'll put, I don't have another full box one, but I've got these. So we'll put this one here on Tuesday. I 
think it's so sticky that when I pull the spatula out, it's pulling the sticker and making it crooked because I had it laid down straight and then when I pulled the spatula out, it went crooked. Okay, so we have that. Um, and I have one more of those, so we'll put this one down on Saturday. And we'll just put it here at the bottom. And I have these cute little to-do heart flags. And again, I made these so that each heart would fit on one line. Actually, let's put this at the top. Let's change it up a little bit. And on Saturday, I think I'm actually going to, I'm going to put one of these, but I'm going to write, or um, I'm going to use a to buy flag at the top. And this will be my list of like, if there's anything that pops up that I want to remind myself to pick up at any point, we'll put it there. And I think think that's gonna be it I am going to do my self-care box here though so let me get my things out for that And there is our final Golden Girls layout. Um, hold on, actually I lied. It's not final because I never filled the dates in. All right, now we've got the dates on. The spread is finished in all of its imperfect glory. Even though everything is just a little bit off size-wise, I actually really like how this turned out. I think it's really cute. I like the colors together, and it's just going to make me so happy using this this week with my favorite TV show um, of all time just spread across the page. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!